What is going on guys? Welcome back to new tutorial series on Recycle View. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you exactly how to delete an item in the list by swiping to the left. So if you swipe this item in the list, as you can see, we were able to delete that item in the list. And not just that, if you want to undo what you have deleted, you can just click on undo, it will bring it back. So if this is what you are looking for, let's get started right now. All right guys, so you need to store what you have deleted in a variable so that we can undo what you have deleted. So we need to create a private late init var and we will call it deleted country. And then the type of this would be string. And once you have declared the variable, you need to go down all the way to on swipe method. So the on swipe method exists in the simple callback object, the one that we have created in the previous video, because we had to work on move method to drag and drop the items in the list. And we have also imported this method to swipe left and right. But before that, we need to add two more arguments to our simple callback constructor. So if you go to right and on swipe direction, we need to add item touch helper and then this would be to left and then dot r and then item touch helper and then right so this would make sure that you'll have left and right and we will only use swipe to left to delete an item but in the next video i will explain how to swipe to right to update the item in the list so an on swipe method you need to create a variable to store the position of the deleted item so var position and that would equal to view holder and then adapter position and then you need to have when to check if you swipe to left or right and pass direction variable to when and then we need to check if you have swiped to left or right so item touch helper and then left so if it's left we need to store the value of the deleted item in the deleted country variable that we have just created so deleted country equal to display list and then get and pass the position to it and this way we have stored the value of the deleted item in this variable so that we can undo it later on and now we need to delete it from the display list so display list dot remove add and then pass the position to it and once you have deleted the item in the list you need to notify the recycler adapter that an item has been removed so recycler adapter and then dot notify item removed and then pass the position and to see if this functionality works let's run our app to see if we can remove an item in the list all right guys so if you swipe to left as you can see we were able to delete an item however we do not have an option to undo what you have deleted so let's add a snack bar and to add the snack bar to undo what we have deleted we need to go to build gradle with module extension and then add google dependency here and then sync now all right, so right below this line, you need to add your snack bar and then do not forget to import it. And on snack bar, we need to call a make method and then pass the recycle view. And for the text, you can pretty much show what you have deleted. So dollar sign deleted country and then say is deleted. And for the duration, snack bar dot um, length long. And then we need to set an action to it. So for the action is undo and then add on click listener on the view so view dot on click listener and then open the parentheses and if you close this for a moment and pretty much when you delete an item a snack bar will appear with this message and then the action would be undo and if you click on the undo we need to bring back what you have deleted so we need to call display list and then add an item to it and then for the item we need to pass the position of the deleted item and then pass the deleted country to it so that it can be added to the same position and then we need to notify the recycler adapter class so dot notify item inserted and then pass the position to it and do not forget to call show method on it and that's it so to see the result let's run our app all right guys so if you swipe this to left the item has been deleted and if you click on undo you can bring the item to the list and it works perfectly. We have made it. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to build mobile applications, web development, and programming tutorials in general, please consider subscribing and click on the bell notification so that you do not miss on anything. So see you guys in the next video where we will be working on how to swipe to right to update an item in the list.